Van, what are your thoughts? <clears throat> it's um, well, it's easier to be a parent this morning. It's easier to be a dad. It's easier. To, it's easier to tell your kids character matters. It matters. Telling the truth matters. Being a good person matters. And it's easier for a whole lot of people. If you're Muslim in this country, you, you, you don't have to worry if the president doesn't want you here. If you're an immigrant, you don't have to worry if the president's going to be happier to have babies snatched away or send, send dreamers back for no reason. <laughs> This is vindication for a lot of people who have really suffered. You know, the, the, I can't breathe. You know, that wasn't just George Floyd. That was a lot of people that felt that they couldn't breathe. Every day you're waking up and you're getting these tweets and you just don't know, and you're going to the store, and, and people who have been afraid to show their racism are getting nastier and nastier to you, and you're worried about your kids, and you're worried about your sister. And can she just go to Walmart and, and get back into the, her car without somebody saying something to her? And, 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 and you spent so much of your life energy just trying to hold it together. And this is a big deal for us just to be able to get some peace and, 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 and have a chance for, for, for a reset. And, and the character of the country matters. And, 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 and being a good man matters. You know, I just want my son to, to look at this. Look at this. You know, it's easy to, to, to do it the, the cheap way and, 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 and get away with stuff, but it comes back around. It comes back around, and this is a good day for this country. I, I'm sorry for the people who lost. Uh, for them, it's not a good day, but for a whole lot of people, it's a good day. Gloria? You know, I, and as long as I've been covering politics, we talk about character. And a lot of campaigns, character didn't count. Other things mattered more. And I always ask myself this question, this race... Would character matter? Would values matter? Would that go to the top of the list? And COVID became part of that, became part of the character issue, how you handle something that has killed more than 200,000 people in this country. It became a matter of character and values. And you look at Joe Biden, and that is who he is. He's a man of empathy. You can disagree with him on all this... You know, politically, you can say he's a socialist, which, of course, he isn't. He was very hard for Republicans to pigeonhole because he said uh, more than four decades in public service in which he refused to be pigeonholed. And what's so fascinating about what's going to occur is that during the campaign, or at least early on in the campaign, we always heard Joe Biden talk about himself as a transitional candidate because he is old. Now, as a president, he's going to have to be transformational because so much needs to be done in this country, whether it's about COVID, whether it's about the economy, whether it's about race, whether it's about climate. You can go, you can go down the list. So this man who was the youngest man, um, one of the youngest, I should say, ever elected to the United States Senate will now be the oldest man ever to take the presidential oath. That's America. Think of that. Think of that. David? First of all, let me say, watching Wolf make that announcement threw me back to when, when I was in the war room in 2008 at the campaign headquarters, and I heard him say the words that Barack Obama would be president of the United States, and I was overwhelmed uh, with emotion. I'm sure that's the feeling uh, of people over in, at, in Biden's uh, headquarters and, and many people across the country, and Van just so eloquently and movingly uh, expressed that. Joe Biden, uh, you know, can't, we tend to correct in our elections for the deficiencies of the person in that office. And in this case, those deficiencies went to character, went to decency, went to a lack of empathy. Uh, and these are qualities, as Gloria said, that Joe Biden has in abundance. And that made him the right candidate to run against Donald Trump. I think when he said last night that he wanted to bring the country together, that he wanted to be the president of all Americans, that he fundamentally believes that. He grew up that way. 
uh, in politics. But we should also recognize today, and I'm sure Rick will speak to this, that there are a lot of Americans who think that we'll see this as a gut punch because we are in a very divided country. And for all the tasks that Joe Biden faces now, President-elect Biden, uh, whether it's dealing with the virus or dealing with the economy uh, or myriad other problems, the greatest challenge is going to be to deal with a deeply divided country and try and find a common language and a common set of concerns that we can work on together, even if we disagree on many, many issues. And that, you know, I, I so fervently hope for the country that he is successful in moving us forward in that way.